Hello. Hi. Uh, we are here at LisbonStartups.com at Impact Hub, right? Exactly. So um, this is a co-working space hub for. Tell us about it. I'm, I'm trying. To, I know more or less what it is. I've been here before. Okay. So uh, this is uh, Impact Hub Lisbon, and we've been around for now for two years. Uh, we're very new here in Lisbon, but this is actually a global a global ne network. And it was created in 2005 in London. And so it has spread worldwide and it's now in over 100 uh, different places. But uh, here we are quite new. We only been, we've only been here for two years now. I've, I've been here at the inauguration date. You had like, a big really? party. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how was it? I was not here at that time. I'm actually very new in uh, uh, it was. It well. was nice. It was a, <laughs> it was a nice party. It was like, how different yeah, is yeah. it since then? Um, Quite a bit different. The space is the same, but yeah, it was very different. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, like you were saying, we are uh, a co-working space, so we have members who work with us, but we are also uh, an event space. So, for example, <laughs> yes, if you want to uh, host an event or a workshop or a team building activity, you can do that here, and you can both rent a sp just a space, or you can actually ask us to. Um, schedule a day like uh, activities or facilitation or like talks and we can also do that for you uh, okay. and but mainly the idea here is always sustainability impact social impact environmental impact so that's kind of our brand that's what we want to be connected to and that's what we also want to be like a home for people who just want to create impact in the world okay uh, let Excuse us for this. We didn't ask you about you. Um, what's your role here? Your name? Who are you? Who am yeah. I? <laughs> no worries. Uh, so my name is Katerina, and I'm the yeah. event manager. Uh, I've been working here only for three months now, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm very passionate about it, and I'm loving it. And uh, so I'm the one more responsible for the event part, the booking the spaces, planning the days, uh, and then our team now also has Joana, who's the community manager. And she's yeah. the one who deals with the members and uh, the co-working space. She's the one who manages all, all that. And of course, we have some uh, help. We have Fra Francesco, who's our uh, general manager and program manager, and Bruno, who is our communications manager. And right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yes, we are a small team, but a very hardworking team, and mm -hmm. we love it here. So this is we're not not just colleagues. We we're always saying we're not just colleagues. We're Actually, we are very good friends. So, so it's a very nice, uh, very nice place. Uh, I've been here at some events. As I said, I've been following more or less what you've been doing for the past couple of years. Yes. Uh, yeah. And uh, we have a lot of, for example, open events like by the end of the day, uh, and uh, so everybody can join. We are always mm -hmm. promoting it on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, yeah. on our website, and so we have all those these events, and people are free to come here, to check the place, to come to the events, talk with us, talk with the other people here, uh, because that's what we want to create, a community of like-minded people. Uh, yeah, you had that one called Brand the Change? Yes. Yeah. Is it still here, or they, they change venues every time, I guess, now? Uh, I think they're uh, changing venues now. Yeah. But uh, that's actually with Joanna. You have to talk to her. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Afterwards about that. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, we have uh, brand change. We have, for example, Hub, Human Before Borders. They are mostly focused on migrations. And uh, they do a monthly... Like refugees and refugees stuff? Refugees oh, yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they do a monthly event here in which they cook a vegan dinner. And then they have a debate about some of the issues uh, concerning uh, refugees. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, Walk the Talk, which uh, has also always a different uh, topic. For example, we had one called Plastic Oceans. Uh, the name is uh, self-explanatory. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. And they are uh, planning on doing a, a meeting about uh, food waste. So that's the upcoming uh, Walk the Talk. Um, so yeah, we try to be... When, when is the next one? When? Yeah. It will be on uh, the 24th. I'm yeah. not sure. Is that like it's a monthly event? It's usually a Walk monthly event, but yeah. because they also, uh, so they do that as a hobby. 
uh, and the, the guys that organize the Walk the Talks, and they're also dependent on whether they have uh, speakers or not, mm -hmm. so sometimes they won't be able to book anyone, and so they will have to cancel, but that's very rare, so usually, and we always announce it, so you'll always know you won't be coming here and suddenly there's nothing, so. <laughs> okay, so they should check on social media, see if it's yes. what's happening, yeah, so how, how should people stay connected? So mainly through our Facebook page, because we always create the events uh, there and we always uh, tell people about what's going on there. So that's probably our best uh, way. Also Instagram um, and just our website in general has uh, all of the, the information that you... Main, main place for the events is on Facebook. Uh, yes. Yeah, very good. And, and what's, what's the next thing that's going to happen here? Anything happening today, tomorrow, the next so, couple of days? Yeah, actually, uh, for the month of October, we are hosting a program here, which is called uh, Blue Bee of Value. And uh, this is in... Um, yeah, we noticed... Uh, the sign outside. Yes. Yes, so basically that's a program organized by the Fundação Oceano Azul uh, mm -hmm. and Oceanário de Lisboa and okay. also Fabricat Startups. And it's a program in which uh, we have... Uh, a uh, few teams that have uh, projects uh, concerning uh, the ocean or something that you take out from the ocean. For example, you have a team who, whose project is they're trying to create glitter uh, from uh, seaweeds. So for, they're Brazilian, so they're with the carnival or the... You said glitter. Glitter. Is that for cosmetics? Or cosmetics yeah? or food. Because, it, oh. because it's seaweed, you Deco can use oh. it to decorate... To decorate food, yeah. Exactly. It's edible decoration, yeah. Exactly. And, uh, and also it's all, uh, it's all natural, it's all organic, doesn't have any chemicals in it. Because, yeah, they're from Brazil and there the carnival is like... Uh, not carnival... Uh, if it's from Brazil, it must be natural, right? Yeah. <laughs> well... <laughs> But uh, so it's very it's a big thing. So they're creating that from a seaweed, and so all of these projects have a different uh, uh, idea, but all connected to the ocean. And so they're here for the month of October, and they will have uh, mentoring, they will have uh, workshops, and uh, they will be using our space as well. Are those open to the public, or how does um, it work? No, those workshops in specific, and that's mentoring just for them. Uh, but we have a lot of prog programs going on also uh, uh, organized by Impact Hub that you can apply. Or you, for example, we are actually uh, now having an open course, which is an online course uh, for social impact and sustainability. It's an online course, but the idea is to have like a physical sort of class that comes together here. So that way, because the, mo the main problem with online courses is that eventually you get uh, like a bit uh, demotivated, overwhelmed. Yeah. overwhelmed. You just you end, you end up not finishing the course. So the idea is to bring these people together here in a physical space, have this sort of like class, like school, but like a very cool and very hip school. <laughs> uh, and so people will just be doing those classes together. So people can still apply. It's uh, open until the end of this week. So <laughs> very good. And um, yeah, so. At the moment, that's the current opportunities that we have, but we are also having some uh, training, some workshops that sometimes are open or not open, but you can apply to them and you can get in. C can you give us a few reasons why impact-driven impact projects or NGOs or I don't know, who would come here and work at, stay here at the co-working space? At the co yeah. So we have a couple of NGOs. We have some startups and we have freelancers and digital nomads, so it's very different. The main idea, I think, at the end of the day is companionship and just like, like I said before, uh, being with like-minded people. So if you go and talk to our members, what they will tell you is that here you can uh, have lunch with these people and you'll have someone to talk. If I'm working at home, I'm alone. So here you have yeah. that. Uh, and also, uh, because we have all of these events always happening, you can just like be in your normal work day and then you finish your day at six and it's starting a talk maybe about a topic that really interests you and so you just stay a little while longer and yeah. 
listen to that. And uh, there's always stuff happening. People are very close, are very friendly. And so it's just a great way to also network, to S meet people. So you have stuff happening on a daily basis here? Basically, yes. Yeah. There are always uh, times of the, m of the year that are slower than others. Mm -hmm. For example, summer is a diffi uh, more yeah. difficult time because everybody August. goes on holidays. No one but, works. <laughs> exactly. Damn tourists. They say they're working, they're just tourists. No, I'm joking, of course. No, but, uh, but usually, yes, we have stuff happening on a daily basis. Very good. I guess Christmas is the same thing, very slow. It's a bit slower, but mm -hmm. we are trying to change that. So keep, uh, keep an eye on us. Because yeah, because if these people feel, feel lonely during their day-to-day -day lives, imagine during Christmas. Yeah, no, but it, and uh, it's just it's such a jolly time of the year. Yeah. Like, why not just come together and uh, do something together? Like, have a cup of mm -hmm. tea or whatever it is. We have the heaters here, so you mm -hmm. will see like uh, uh, bunches of people like around oh, the I heaters. Re I like, remember. I've been here. I, I remember that something like that. Someone here. offering me a heater <laughs> and stuff. You're very, you're very, yeah, you're very hospitable. Everybody like brings their own like blanket. So people will be working together to generate some like more human warmth, and uh, so it's just we try to make it fun and we try to make it a mm -hmm. pleasant place and uh, a pleasant vibe for people. Um, so and yes, and uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, new plans going on, especially for Christmas time. Mm -hmm. uh, so just keep an eye on our social media because we will announce it there. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, I don't know if you want to ask me anything. Else. Yes, uh, now the question is what is the most special place here at Impact Hub? The most, the most special part of Impact Hub. Can you show us that? Uh, yes, I think it might be the auditorium. Really? I really love the auditorium. Or can you show us that? I can show like you the right now. And I can show you the kitchen because as a Portuguese girl, of course, I love the Oh, place let's where see the kitchen. Oh, the, <laughs> isn't the kitchen the most special part? Mm. Yeah, actually, yes. I'm going to reiterate my answer and uh, say the kitchen, maybe. <laughs> Let's see this. So, this is our kitchen. Let's see the kitchen. It's cozy. So oh, it's, it's different than last time. It's Oops. very cozy because you can either be sitting here having lunch or you can just be working on the sofas or having a cup of tea with someone in the couches or having actually a more informal meeting. Uh, and so this is a place with a lot of life. We always have people here. Right very now, good. there's our chef. She always does the catering for us whenever. So we have, we have a, like a full-time chef right now. No, 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 no. It's just when there's an event going on. Yeah. She will you had come an and event today. We had a lunch together, lunch, wow. so she came to cook for us. And then don't you have a lunch together like every day? Yes, but on those days you bring your own food, or okay. you bring to share with the others. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, you bring your own stuff. Like yes. Your... So we always, for example, on uh, Tuesdays, you can see there our uh, weekly calendar. Uh, every time there's an event, we write there like all the events of the week so people can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, on Tuesdays, we have community lunch, which means uh, everybody will bring something to share. And we all sit together around the table and have uh, just lunch together and talk and uh, socialize. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so show us the auditorium now. And now the auditorium. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> A lot of people working. A lot of people working. I know that guy. <laughs> Maybe we can uh, do a quick interview with him. How's it going? You want to say something about <laughs> this place? I love this place. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? Uh, it's very inspiring to be surrounded by people that are uh, working on projects to confront social and environmental issues. Yeah, so I can't complain. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you very much. That was uh, an input from someone working here. Right. Uh, how long have you been working here, by the way? Uh, my name is Richard. Uh, I'm a community host here on Tuesdays, and I've been using the space for about six months. Yes, Richard, I know you, and you've also been involved with Mixed Life. Right? Mix, mixed Life, exactly, yeah? Very good. What's, when is the next event? Uh, the next event is going to be on the 23rd of October at Selena Hostel. It's a social gathering of uh, people uh, that are interested in creativity. Awesome. So it's right on topic, isn't it? 
I might, I might go there. 23rd, Selena, right? <laughs> You've heard about it. 8 o'clock. Thank you very much, Richard. So, a bit more quiet here because people are working. Yes, yes. Let's uh, whisper like this. If we whisper like this, people can hear us. Or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is our auditorium. This is the quiet area. It's the quiet area, except except for when there's, for when an, there's event. an event. Yeah, then it's, then it's a very loud area. It's crazy. So now it's pretty empty. So I notice you have a map there. It's not very accurate. It's but not it's accurate. <laughs> it's, it's very artistic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, artistic freedom. <laughs> yes. Uh, so right now it's very empty. So maybe you can mm -hmm. see what I. I can imagine people. That I've been exactly. here before, so I know when what you're you talking about. When you imagine and you see uh, people here uh, mm -hmm. filling all this space and. Uh, a movie screening on this huge yeah. screen, like a documentary, or someone talking, <laughs> uh, or giving a talk, like a motivational mm -hmm. talk, this suddenly comes to life. The whole space comes to life with just this energy and uh, um, people just happy to, to be engaged in something they, they really feel passionate about. So that's maybe why this is, I can choose. It's a so place where things can happen, I can see that. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Uh, thank you very much for this. Uh, I think uh, we have seen thank what you. we wanted to see. You also have interesting views from, from here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Would you like to maybe tell us something, want some last words, maybe about you, maybe about Impact Hub, maybe about what's coming up? So I just want to invite everyone to just come here and see for themselves. Okay. Uh, because, like I said, our doors are always open. And uh, you oh, can you have uh, open days, don't you? Sometimes, we have open yeah. Day, open days. It's uh, usually on uh, Tuesdays, but mm -hmm. you can you can really just show up any day of the week. There will always yeah. be a host. We can are show the team up, will always bring your lunch, here. stop by the kitchen. If, yes, right? uh, have a free trial day, work here with us for a day, mm -hmm. get to know the people because I think you have to be here to really experience the vibe. So I can say whatever I want, but unless you come here and see it for yourself, you won't feel the awesomeness Very that good. it is. To be and and what's your favorite food? So people know they should bring it when they come <laughs> in for lunch so they can conquer your soul. So as long as, yeah. the, as there's no meat, it's like no meat, so animal friendly. Vegetarian <laughs> stuff. Yeah, guys. vegetarian stuff, that's for sure Don't will be a good option. <laughs> you know what it is. You know what's up. You know what you should bring. No animals, no dead animals. So just <laughs> bring your vegetarian food. And that's it. We'll be waiting for you here. In fact, Hubby's waiting for you. Lisbon Starbs is also waiting for you. Over and out. Don't forget to check out lisbonstarbs.com. And don't forget to check out Impact Hub.